authoritarian dictatorship. The longest running fascist dictatorship in Europe. Prime Minister Antonio de Oliveira Salazar, one time candidate for the priesthood, who rescued Portugal from bankruptcy and became in 1928 its dictator. It lasted for 48 years. It was also involved in a brutal colonial war in Angola, Mozambique, and uh, Portuguese Guinea, which is now Guinea-Bissau. Portuguese military uh, began to internally rebel against the government, and so they organized a military coup. The officers who were in charge of the coup, they needed a signal to uh, indicate to all the other officers that the coup was going ahead. And so uh, they chose two songs, actually. The, the first one was uh, the song E Depois do Adeus. It was the Portuguese entry into the Eurovision Song Contest of 1974, and it was chosen specifically because it was an, uh, an uncontroversial song. And the second song was a song called Grandula Vila Morena. Grandula Vila Morena. Yeah, the idea was that they would wait for a specific moment, and if that song played on the radio, they knew that everybody else had also heard the signal and they were right to go ahead. And uh, that military coup became a popular revolution. The streets like this one in Lisbon were uh, taken up with revolutionary fervor, with a lot of uh, new ideas coming into the Portuguese consciousness. It was called the Carnation Revolution because on the day of the coup, the soldiers went through a square called Rousseau, which has a large flower market in it. And one of the soldiers asked a woman if she had a cigarette, and she said, no, but I have this bundle of carnations, and she gave him a carnation. And the soldier took the carnation and put it into his rifle. And that sort of became the symbol of the revolution, is that it was a peaceful coup, and so the carnation in the rifle truly became the symbol of the 25th of April.